Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. National Assembly of Western Armenia 2023. Meeting of candidates for deputies in the upcoming elections at the Republic of Western Armenia office in Yerevan. On May 24, 2023, a conference will be held to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the establishment of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. Time for dignity. It is not only impossible to coexist peacefully with Azerbaijan, but any concern session would open the door to a new genocide, Vartan Voskanyan. Unacceptable and insignificant, Artsakh parliament reacts to Armenian prime minister's statements. Azerbaijan deliberately politicizes and obstructs unimpeded access of UN agencies to Artsakh, Anahit Avanesian. Nakhijevan cartography presenting the destroyed Armenian monuments of Nakhijevan. On May 20, 2023, a meeting of the candidates for deputies was held at the office of the Republic of Western Armenia in Yerevan. The purpose of the meeting was to introduce the candidates to the mission of the MPs and the details of the history of the formation of the state. Prime Minister Saddam Erikan presented in detail the works of Boghos Nubar, the works carried out since 1912, the details of the establishment of the state of Armenia and its recognition by more than 20 states. The Prime Minister also touched upon the world wars. The geopolitical situations and the new physical maps in which the Armenian state has always played and continues to play a primary role. The parliamentary candidates discussed a number of issues and when they came to a common denominator, they decided to organize such meetings more often. At the next meeting, all the points of constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia will be discussed. The next meeting will be held in June. On May 24, 2030 is the founding day of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, which celebrates its 10th anniversary today. The anniversary will be celebrated through a meeting on the National Assembly Zoom platform. The meeting will be held on May 24, 2023 at 10 o'clock Yerevan time and 8 o'clock French time. The National Assembly invites the deputies and candidates for deputies to participate in the meeting. Since the Hamidiyah massacres in the 1894 until today continues and unpunished genocide by Turkey and the Armenians with an abject epicenter between the years 1915 and 1923, where in a cold and calculated way the Turkish government planned that perpetrated the murder of the people of Western Armenia to appropriate almost all the original and historical territory of Armenia. The lands of Western Armenia, which have been invaded by Turkey for 100 years, were declared Armenian in 1917 by Russia and in 1923 were recognized in public international law as members of the Armenian state by the USA, England, France, Italy, Brazil, Argentina and by more than 20 countries, the hour of dignity has arrived. We have established the Republic of Western Armenia, a continuation state of the Armenian state of 1920s, liberate our lands from Mount Ararat to the last of our beloved provinces of Western Armenia. This is our new way of commemorating our martyrs, standing tall, full-bodied and in full exercise of our rights, following the legacy of our elders who have survived the abominable crime that we remember today, Guillermo Caramanian, Consul of the Republic of Western Armenia in the Argentine Republic. Iranologist Vartan Voskanyan writes, the illegal occupation of the cradles of several indigenous people, genocide against them, assimilation and Azerbaijanization, the policy of distortion and appropriation of Caucasian, Armenian and Iranian history and culture with Ottoman bayonets created in 1918 artificial Azerbaijan, which first entered history, cannot have not only territorial integrity but also the right to exist. Unfortunately, the cancerous perturbance formed in the South Caucasus has disturbed and violates not only the normal political and civilizational development of our region, but it is also a constant source of aggression, expansionism and anti-humanity, along with the barbaric character and regime. So with it, it is impossible not only to coexist peacefully, but also any concession, because it will open the door to a new genocide and atrocities. The government of Western Armenia reminds the authorities of Baku have carried out a genocidal policy against the indigenous people of Artsakh since the 20s of the last century. Atrocities are the trademark of the Baku authorities which they demonstrate during their genocidal policy against the indigenous people of Baku, Sumgayit, Girovabad, Shushi and other territories. The patience of the Armenian people is exhausted. They are ready to stand up to defend their own rights. They stay to on the integrity of the state of Armenia under the flag of Western Armenia. 
It is unacceptable and insignificant. This is the reaction of Artsakh Parliament to the statements of the Prime Minister of the Republic of Armenia, Nikol Pashinyan, which ignore the sovereignty of Artsakh, the right of the people of Artsakh to self-determination and the fact of its implementation. Let's remind that on May 22, Nikol Pashinyan announced that he recognizes the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan with 86,600 square kilometers, which also includes the territory of Artsakh and enclaves. In the statement, which was anonymously adopted at the special special session of the Artsakh parliament convened last night, the Artsakh deputies claimed that the head of the Republic of Armenia grossly violates the provisions of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the Republic of Armenia regarding Artsakh. Any statement of Nikol Pashinyan which ignores the sovereignty of the Republic of Artsakh, the right of our people to self-determination and the fact of its implementation, any document made on its basis is unacceptable and void for us. Artsakh will never abandon the steady path of its struggle. The document to read the document presented by Deputy Vahram Balayan. At the 76th World Health Assembly, RA Minister of Health Anahit Avanesian touched upon the challenges in the region which pose a threat to the right to life and health of the people of Artsakh. Here are experts from Anahit Avanesian's speech in Geneva. It is a great honor and pleasure for me to participate in the 76th World Health Assembly. Dear colleagues, I would like to take this opportunity to draw your attention to the challenges in our region which pose a significant threat to the right to life and public health. For six months already, Already, the safe and unimpeded transportation of people and goods through the Berzo Road to Artsakh remains blocked by the authorities of Baku, as a result of which 120,000 people are completely isolated. The prolonged blockade of Artsakh has caused a shortage of food, medicine and medical services. Azerbaijan deliberately politicizes and obstructs safe and unimpeded access of UN agencies to Artsakh in line with humanitarian principles, thus depriving the people of Artsakh of humanitarian aid. We attach great importance to to the World Health Organization's timely and firm response to the situation in Artsakh, in accordance with its mandate and the constitution, which clearly states, enjoyment of the highest standards of health is a fundamental right. The health of the people is fundamental to achieving peace and security and depends on the full cooperation of individuals and states. Monuments expert Samvel Karapetian's goal is to present the cartography of Nakhijevan, the destroyed Armenian monuments of the Nakhijevan region of Western Armenia. The cartographer presents a number of ancient maps of the region made by European cartographers in the 15th to 20th century. Preference is given to the works of foreign authors in order to emphasize the importance of the fact. The second section of the book is a working one. The second section begins with a physical map of the region. The main emphasis is to put on the census data of the January 1, 1914, where the color indicates the place and the number of the population of a given nation. The red color refers to the Armenian populated villages, green to Caucasian Tatars until 1935, Caucasian Tatars then Azerbaijani. Karapetian stressed that the red spots are long gone. The last Armenian populated villages were empathized in 1988 to 1989. As the author notes, two types of monuments are represented in the cartography. Despite the diversity of Armenian monuments, this are Christian religious monuments, monasteries and churches, the number of which reaches 219. Today, not a single Christian religious monument remains in this region. Although Azerbaijani constantly claim that Nakhijevan is the cradle of Azerbaijani culture, images of Armenian monasteries and churches prove the opposite. The book also presents the educational institutions of Nakhijevan, the monastic and parochial schools. The government of Western Armenia is following the fate of Nakhijevan, which is an integral part of Western Armenia. The the president of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, and the expert of monuments, Samvel Karapetian, appealed to the European Court of International Law regarding the vandalism of the Baku authorities against the Khachkars, the material and cultural values that certify the identity of the indigenous people. The Armenian people are able to recreate material and spiritual values since they are the bearers and users of those values. The falsifiers cannot appropriate the value system of indigenous people. It is alien and incomprehensible for them. Indigenous people are in contact with the spiritual and material world. This is their strength and right. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs> Bulbul Nasas, Bartis Khatri, 